Hello, I'm Pat McLaughlin. I uh, was a steam fitter in construction. I retired after being diagnosed with uh, this methyl. I started by getting a summer helper's job in Imperial Oil. Uh, did that for two years and uh, pretty much made up my mind from what I saw there. The income was good. Uh, I did enjoy the work. I didn't know about asbestos at the time. <laughs> And uh, it might not have changed my mind about it, but it might have changed the way that I dealt with it. What a steam fitter does is installs pipe initially, construction, and we also do maintenance. In my case, because there's different, different ways that you can work as a steam fitter uh, in different industries, and in Sarnia, in petrochemical, it tends to be seasonal work. Um, uh, it's possible to work all year round on maintenance. Uh, in the construction end of it, it's almost always seasonal. I carried a lunch bucket to work my whole life, of course. I wore work clothes, I didn't wear a suit to work. I have worked on computer in an office. I did that for six months, and to be honest with you, I didn't like it. I was gaining weight, I was getting unhealthy from it, and I just plain I prefer to work with my hands. Uh, so, what does it mean to be working class? To me, it means contributing in a way that you can actually see. Uh, if you're working at a desk with paperwork, shuffling paper all the time, I, I think it'd be difficult to see the results of your efforts. You're busy, but I don't think it'd be quite as easy for them as it is for me, because like I said, I can start with a green field, and when it's done, it's something complete that wasn't there before. It's, it's, to me, I got a lot of pride in what I did. I enjoyed it, I had pride in it, I could look back on it, I can take my grandchildren to plants that I've worked on that, that I helped build and tell them what I did at these plants. Like, it's something to be proud of. Most of the work you do, particularly on maintenance shutdowns, is 10 hour days, usually six days a week and they use Sunday as a makeup day if they fall behind. If you're one to stand up on your own and complain, you're gonna be unemployed. It's that simple. My job is a big part of my life. That's why we, we live here. So I could see losing that. I simply couldn't do it anymore. As far as why anybody works, is to improve your lot in life. And if you don't, uh, See, you know, good work ethic is a way to get ahead in life. Uh, if you choose to just get by, then you're not going to be able to help your kids, are you? You're not going to be able to help yourself. The petrochemical industry, if it were to collapse, uh, yeah, this, this town would be devastated by it.